me not I start to smile, she said, and today the camera the police headquarters as the Sierra Leone police call press conference. Okay. Okay. Because online, this guy told we have again commission of police. is the regional commander of the East and of course next to the person and it's no introduction. He is the one substantive spokesperson of the Syrian police. And as usual, our chairperson is the AIG Amadumana, the director of officials of the Syrian Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tu. I want to welcome everyone, including our. I'm seeing a few faces. We are together 20 minutes ago, madam. You are welcome. And uh, yes, a lot of the journalists that you see in this building were with us like 20 minutes ago at uh, the ministry. Is it on? Okay. At the Ministry of uh, uh, Information and communication. And uh, Media One was also with us. We were talking on the electricity theft, electricity abstractions, and uh, it was a nice long uh, press briefing. It was actually chaired by the Minister of Information and Communication and in attendance where the Inspector General of Police, the representative from the military, and the representative from ONS. And uh, this is just a continuation. Uh, there were several questions that were asked in that meeting. We referred them to this particular meeting. We said, if they can come here, then it will be good that we will have very pertinent answers for those uh, questions. Over the weekend, we had a three-day-long APC emergency delegate conference in McKinney. It went on well. Well, nothing significant to report at this moment because there was no misbehavior in spite of the fact that there were some dangerous songs that I heard of. Is it uh, Basta Pekin? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Basta Pekin, I'm just quoting. And uh, retire, retire, you know, etc., etc. But well, it was like a jamboree. It was like, uh, would I don't attend cacao show? It was like a cacao show. People were seated in pockets and so on. Mm. I think after the first day and after a lot of people were cautioned on the use of words, the use of insinuations, things that would spark uh, problems. I think everything came to a very sh uh, smooth conclusion. Um, the last day, Media One was there and they gave me some uh, updates that were very, very pleasing to me. Uh, a few other things happened there that requires the attention of the police and uh, we will discuss them in our management meeting tomorrow and we should be able to take actions where necessary. Um, a lot of things happened over last week since we last met, including things, um, issues of criminality, um, issues of public interest in the whole of our country, and gains that the police has made. I think the recent one is uh, a proactive measure that I saw in uh, from uh, Mile 91 police. Mile 91 police. Uh, they arrested somebody with the butt of a gun and uh, they were so smart that they conducted the search in the house of that person and recovered the other parts of the weapon and I have asked that they bring them to you. And uh, though for those that watch the social media yesterday at Guayma and uh, in fact two incidents happened in the Kailan district. One was a motorcycle with three people, you know, that uh, hit a, a stationary vehicle, and all of them perished. All of them died. Italy. Oh. 
yes, and another one, a vehicle, a Renault box, a Renault vehicle. The details are very scanty at the moment. We are still looking at the footage and we have asked for a sea trip on that. It was at Baima, Baima, Mobile. You know, a vehicle hit somebody, person died, and the whole vehicle was set on fire. Big, big trailer, Ooh. set on fire. And thief all the permanent. The owner was there. People, this is not type of lawlessness. People stole. It was, I think, full of uh, palm oil. The man, the runner, hey, they left this my mind. The car and go. And was that the payment for the death of that person? You know, we are just telling you the level of lawlessness that we have graduated into. Village not the Panamigin, they are copying mm -hmm. free town very well. Yeah. With respect. You know, and uh, it was very, very sad. The police is investigating. And very shortly we will come to details of those. As soon as we get them, we should be able to furnish you with those details. You know, it is very sad that uh, a lot of crashes are taking place in those areas. I've never had, except very, very few. I think this is the first time I've had two consecutive crashes along those that particular route. That is the route between Kenema Shegema, Kailahu. That is the road we are telling you about. And uh, finally, you will hear a lot more from Mr. Levy and our new commissioners. And I'm so happy that both of you, for the first time, you have attended this meeting together in my presence. In fact, Dennis, this is the first time I think he is attending. I hope you become in all of you. Come with your RDC, Lamley. You know, because uh, it is good when we invite these people to meet personalities like you. You know, that will showcase. And the last aspect is the promotions that we came out with. You all know that we promoted five AIGs, nine commissioners of police, that is this, this ranks, and uh, 32 uh, uh, assistant commissioners of police. It, it was a very colorful ceremony. I think I saw a lot of you there. My brother was also there. And it, everything came out very, very fine. In the near future, you will now see the promotions of the other ranks and the rest of the other SPOs. How do I call it? Our, our, our interviews are still ongoing and we shall be able to conclude and we'll inform you again on how far we've gone. With the recruitment process was ongoing. We can't chase two rats at the same time. So we've been able to put it on hold until the promotion issue is finished and then we'll shift back to our promotion system, our promotion, uh, uh, sorry, to our recruitment procedures. And when once we start, you will be informed through media one and two so that uh, these things will be completed within a very short time. We'll now go by. Okay. Yes. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. You will report it. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, that is good. So moving from there, we'll now uh, we'll welcome statements by the chairman, which I've made. And uh, you will ask me questions based on what we've spoken. And we will ask for updates on the APC Emergency Delegate Conference. I think I've touched on it a bit. But I will ask uh, uh, Media One. He was there for almost two days. And we'll be able to give uh, some updates on it. I have given you a synopsis of what actually happened. But for details, I will later on ask him. We'll go to the update on the ranking decoration ceremony. I've touched on it also slightly. And some details, um, that one I've given you. I did not see this thing, but I was able to touch on that. We'll give you to touch on the updates of major investigations with time. And then updates on Freetown West region, Freetown East region, and they will come to questions. So, Brahma, would you want to give 
updates. Yes, updates on McKinney included. Huh? Oh, you, you don't sound like we. <laughs> we, 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 we all learn the go. Yes. So, uh, <clears throat> updates on the APC Emergency Delegates Conference. Um, details will be given by driver. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You know, no one talk, bro. Mm. Oh, nothing said this will move forward. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, members of the front estate. Uh, I'm ACP. In case you don't know what is ACP, it's Assistant Commissioner of Police. <laughs> 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 Assistant Commissioner of Police. Uh, Grandma Kamara. And I'm still in the one. Um, let me just give you some information with regards to the APC Emergency National Delegate Conference. That one was ordered by the court. Of course, we are all aware of it. And, uh, but before the conference itself, what we did was to engage them. And so we had a, a discussion with them prior to the Emergency National Delegate Conference. They were hosted in the office of the Director of Operations. The IGP was there, and the DIG was there. And we had lengthy discussions. And after which, some resolutions were reached, they were taken, and the one has to do with um, the aspect of not displaying banners on that day. Either you are supporting an individual or you are supporting a particular group. Because you know, when people compete, or when they are competing interest, and that one will lead to a conflict for those who have had a piece of conflict. So we said, no, we are not going to. It, it was the kind of trap attack that we made because the PPRC, they were also there, the chairman of the PPRC. Yeah. Yeah. So that one was agreed upon. And then we also agreed that um, body images or body image, somebody must not put on the t shirt that will carry body image of either of the personalities within the party. And when you do that one, it's like you are advertising a particular candidate. And that one was not for candidates, it was particularly meant for them to adopt the constitution, their new constitution. So, and um, that one was agreed upon. And then we said, um, if you are not a delegate, in other words, if you are not accredited to that emergency national delegate conference, you should not be there. And uh, that one, we were able to translate that one into what we call a press release. And the press release, we also made reference to the release they also made proud to our own press our, uh, our own press release and then we all agreed on the issues and so we were able to do what to call uh, from the from from the center I mean we generated what to call uh, generic operation orders and then at that level they had to localize it you know you customize so they were able to go on uh, for the region and so personally we are sourced and then we went there Friday was just the opening ceremony. So many people were invited. Saturday, Sunday, but by and large, like the director of operations said, um, because of our push, because of our presence, there is what to call it in security. Uh, we call it um, high visibility mm -hmm. assurance policy. You know, our presence and uh, the numbers we committed to that delegate conference. I mean, even if you want, you are wanted to do the unneedful. I mean, we think twice. So we had the, they had the, the emergency national delegate conference, and then there uh, was something happened, and uh, we are not ex expecting something to happen. You know, we've normally said that we do not have the time to, to do a cover work. We do not do cover work. Some people sometimes think we do cover work. We do not do cover work. There was one compromise in photo. Of course, that one was on social media, and uh, that one has to be one of our personnel. I mean, it was very compromising because the reason why I'm saying it was compromising and still compromising is the fact that you know you now let people think that uh, we are not neutral, that we are one-sided or we are supporting the group as the case may be. You know, we are supposed to be a political and we should be a political. And so, if you begin to openly display some signs that you belong to A, B, or C. Probably we have to be you and then we question you so that we know what went wrong or why did you do A, B, or C. And so that officer who was involved in that one, he's been brought down to town. We've been able to identify him and then he's now going through 
investigations. You know, we are looking at um, whether there are possible infractions of the police disciplinary code of 2001, possible infractions. So that matter is ongoing. He came down to town today. He has made a statement. He's an inspector of police. I cannot give you the name now. But he's an inspector of police. His first name is Alfred. And then he has made a statement. And then we are now looking into the matter. So that at the end of the day, if there are infractions of the police discipline regulations of 2001, there is going to be more to do with disciplining. Because this is just the administrative aspect. You understand? So we said we have to bring that one to the notice. Because the reason why we are bringing this one as well, we went for this press conference, and this emergency press conference at the uh, new building, 8th floor, Ministry of Information, and that question came up. Uh, the, 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 the press conference were not called for that purpose. No. And so they referred the individual here. But that notwithstanding, we are already prepared. You can see we have this one. And we are going to inform the public about that one because anything you see on social media, I'm sure it's all over the place now. If you don't see somebody will draw your attention that hey, if I don't see that, that, don't see that thing. And so if you've not come out to address it and try to disassociate the SLP as an institution to, to it, then um, that one is going to send the wrong signal. So we are going to do our investigations and then uh, we have to come back and tell the public uh, whatever we could have done be it good or be it bad, depending on who is interpreting the information. Or information, it depends on who is interpreting it. Uh, sometimes, if you want to consider to be good, somebody else might see it differently. It's not like you come to the police station to make a report, and then you are assisted by the police, somebody will say, yeah, they put mad and good. But when you have got to the police, <laughs> you now say the police are not good. The same individual who said the police are not good. So this is what I'm saying. So it depends on who is interpreting the information. But the fact remains, we are doing our bit, and uh, we are being led by rules, we are being led by regulations, and so we are going through the, the normal procedure, and whatever comes out of it, so we we'll have to let you know. By and large, the emergency national delegate conference hosted in McKinney was very peaceful because the police presence was high, we are very visible, and we did, we did what we are supposed to do, so that um, at the end of the day, we do not want something to be happening in one area and then that one affects the entire country. And so we were very robust enough to make sure that um, it was well peaceful, it was well policed and it was peaceful. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I know you all had him very well. You will ask questions later on. But can we please, um, I spoke slightly on the ranking system and, um, sorry, I, st I spoke slightly on the ranking system, telling them the numbers that were involved in the recent promotions. And uh, I think you heard me well. I don't know if you want to add anything. Thank you. Uh, the addition we can, I mean, oh, like fine, I normally you. say, in the police we have three levels. Thank you. We have the operational level, we have the, 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 the tactical level, and then we also have the strategic level. The promotions that came out was for the strategic level. Okay. I mean, the strategic level, okay. they are just like the think tank. They have to do the thinking for the SLB. Okay. And what we expect of them is for them to provide strategic direction. And so the promotions that came out um, on the 9th of September, you know, on the 8th of September, let me inform you, before, on, on the 8th of September, there was a press release from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. And that press release uh, 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 spoke about the reintroduction of certain acts. And then there was the press conference we had here. I also had the opportunity, it was also chaired by the same chairperson. I had the opportunity to do a PowerPoint presentation to, to take it through the ranks. You did. And so, uh, under normal circumstance, uh, somebody will expect that uh, I should not be carrying this rank as stand commissioner. But those were some of the ranks reintroduced. And uh, I don't want to say much, but uh, it came out very well. You are well represented, but it was the very first time. It's true, it was more or less a movement. I mean, that was very motivating to everybody, even our people, our parents, and um, our well-wishers. I think they were pleased to see us being decorated by high-profile personalities, from, the, his ex, from His Excellency, the Vice President, I mean, the CDS, the Deputy, the Deputy Director General of the uh, Correctional Service, our uh, retired AIGs. You see how we are able to give them a recognition, you understand? They are retired, but they are not tired, because they've been part of us, and we still continue to hope not 
And so when they came around, in fact, we invited them. They didn't just come. We invited them to come, and then we gave them tasks. Like Madame Fakono was there to dress up some people, uh, um, Christopher John, and then uh, Yakomba, and uh, uh, Kami, Mr. Kamiako, and mm -hmm. Madame Tagawali, and a host of others. So it was very colorful. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. for the fact that we've started, yeah, the was also there. And for the fact that we've started, that tells you we are going to continue. Every other time we promote um, officers, then I don't know whether it's going to be across the board. It will be too much for us. Yeah. But any time we promote officers <laughs> to that strategic level, that strategic level, they are going to be decorated. I mean, we, in the military, they've been doing it. It's part of it. Mm -hmm. When I was in Nigeria, I'm aware of an incident. They are in court. Um, the, the hierarchy of the, the police, they dismissed one officer, senior officer, very senior officer, assistant commissioner. And they, what, the, what the, the, the other guys did on the other side, they promoted him to uh, deputy commissioner. And up to now, for two years, he's not been decorated. And for the fact that he's not been decorated, he cannot put on that uniform. Whether they are still fighting, whether it was right for him to be promoted or it wasn't right for him to be promoted. So up to now, he's not been decorated. And if you're not decorated, it means you cannot have an appointment. So you have to be floating. It's not like our own situation. It's like we were not floating anyway, but we were not putting on uniform. So on Friday last week, we saw how colorful the program was, mm -hmm. and uh, we are hope we hoping to see you again. It could be next year, it could be the year after, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for letting our uh, weathers know exactly what happened. And uh, I say, uh, it is what is good for the goose, it's good it's for the land. <laughs> So we think it will, it will have to continue in the police. It has never happened. In fact, since I joined, I have never seen it. And just imagine how long we have stayed in this job, you know? I don't know whether you saw it since no, you got no, up before no, me. No, no. Uh, you, you, you came in before us. <laughs> have you ever seen one? No, sir. Okay, so yeah, I think this is a new innovation. It's an innovation and therefore... I think we need to continue it. In this respect, I, I want to thank you again and would like to call on the Chief the Operations Officer, Francis Levy, to give updates on major cases within the police. Thank you. For press of a hand. Good afternoon, <coughs> good afternoon, Chairman, uh, the media, one and two, yes, senior one pass police officers okay. and others, my first post-it, uh, good afternoon to you. Let me just uh, mention a few cases of sensitive nature from what we got over the weeks from CID headquarters. I start from uh, on Monday, 28th September 2021. Our department received a transfer case and inquiry file from the Central Police Station for an alleged shooting with intent to kill involving Ibrahim Bar of Leicester Road. Uh, Freetown, who reported that on Sunday, 19 September 2021, about 15.30 hours at Leicester Road, Freetown, Abdullahi Jalo of number 8, Aladura Drive, Aladura Drive, Garage, Leicester Road, and of number 8, Allen Street, Modern New Road, Freetown, with intent to kill sort the former Ibrahim Bar with pistol, as a result, he sustained injury on his left leg and complain of severe body pain. The victim is currently hospitalized at the Connaught Hospital responding to treatment. Um, the victim has been issued with a police medical request form for examination and treatment. Abdul Jalo, Ibrahim Kamara, and Leslie Christopher Top were arrested and brought in presently in the police custody helping the investigation. 
the pistol with the CR number PT111 G29 mm and TZX18712 is now with the police as exhibit. A request for ballistic examination in respect of the alleged pistol has been sent to the ballistic officer for examination and for further investigation. Now, <clears throat> a case of conspiracy to commit a felony. On Wednesday, the 15th of September, 2021, at 21.10 hours, D. Inspector J.B. Lahai, Crime Officer, Cambria Police Division, arrested and brought in one Dr. Songu Kondoyama, a medical superintendent, government hospital, Cambria, and a medical officer of the Sierra Leone Football National Team, Leon Stars of number 8 Kisi Bypass Road, Freetown, on an allegation that on the 21st of August, 2021, at Freetown, he prepared and signed a medical report and cause of death certificate for one German national in the presence of Leon Wesini Wednesday Merchant on the pretext that the latter has died, knowing seemed to be false. The matter is under investigation. <laughs> then, the case of murder. The case of murder, on Monday, the 13th September 2021, this, our department received a transfer case and inquiry file in respect of an alleged case of murder together with four male suspects, students of Unima from the regional headquarters northeast McKinney involving one Sonia Mary Thomas, second year business administration student, lead for student of Unima. The investigation is in progress, at in progress. I also report for a case on unlawful possession of firearms. On Thursday, on Tuesday, the 31st August 2021, Detective Inspector Ponte AD attached family support unit of CID headquarters and other officers attached at the same building arrested and brought in. Uh, Jalaham Jala Veria, that is Doris Jalaham Veria, of number 150 Ujuku Drive, off Wikinson Road, and reported that on the 31st August 2021, at number 150 Ujumens Drive, off Wikinson Road, Freetown, the latter was arrested with one black rugi pistol with serial number. 459 stroke 19569 and seven life rounds bullets suspected to have been unlawfully possessed. She informed the team that the pistol belongs to one Ahmed Sangari of the same address. This matter has been charged to court for your information. Then, a case of kidnapping and wounding with intent. On Monday, 13 September 2021, at 18.30 hours, the homicide unit of the Criminal Investigation Department, CID Quarter Freighter, received a transfer case and inquiry file from Lomley Division for an alleged case of wounding with intent containing four statements and of complainant and witnesses. It was alleged that, uh, it was stated that uh, on Wednesday, 8 September 2021, about 06.45 hours at Spall Road, Freetown, she was alleged, <coughs> allegedly kidnapped by one Maria Matoka against her will in a tricycle with a registration number unknown and taken to Hamilton where she was assaulted by the said Maria Matoka and as a result, she sustained human bites on her hands, back, and complained of uh, body pain. The matter is under investigation. Um, another report. Uh, a case of conspiracy to commit a felony with failing to declare huge amounts of forex, foreign currencies. 
On Tuesday, 7 September 2021, at about 1400 hours, a transfer case and inquiry file on the above subject matter uh, was received from Lunge International Airport together with five suspects, including the prime suspect of a Nigerian national by the name of Norman Machaki, a Nigerian national, with some other suspects belong to West Minister staff and the airport security. And with a uh, forex of uh, US dollars, Euro and Naira, the matter is under serious investigation. So these are the few sensitive matters over the weeks that uh, was received by CID headquarters. Thank you. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Lebby. I think uh, we have had a lot and uh, we now listen to our new commissioners to give us updates in their various regions. I think we'll start with you, Manfred. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Fort Estate. Um, for the free time West region, it remains to be calm, though there are minor incidents. Of course, on the 14th of September, we received a report from Mohamed Lai Mansari, a volume Osman, age 24, who was found drowned headlong inside a big blue rubber drum <laughs> filled with water, suspected to have been under the influence of drugs, suspected Kush at that time. But the body has been taken to mortuary for autopsy, and uh, we are waiting for that result. And most so, there was this student at IPAM, the election of the student. What came out clearly was that the online voting is much more far better than the direct voting. Though there were little disturbances, but it was caught. However, I think that would be a best practice for all student elections. And of course, we are supposed to have the SLPP election on Saturday. But at the 11th hour, it was called off. Though there are, there are crowds at the various locations, we will disperse them without any incident. For now, the, the region is calm and quiet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, one Fred. I think uh, you have just mentioned something that is very new. It's an innovation. And I know in future, I saw good vote in this country. Yes. You know, provided. Well, it's for our villages and people. Yeah, otherwise it is the easiest we have ever yes. seen. You know? However, uh, I think that's good also to IPAM for that type of innovation that we have never seen, except probably from overseas. However, uh, I want to call on Mr. Francis Hesley to give an update on situations within the East Freetown East. Thank you. I stand on the existing protocols aligned. Commissioner Francis Sesley from the Freetown East, where people go to sleep with their eyes closed, not like the Freetown West area, where there are ups and down trouble every year. But on yesterday's date, at about 0700 hours to 1300 hours, there was trouble at Miller Group of Companies at their company headquarters at Jemata. We are in some of the workers just on the company headquarters and started pelting stones, missiles, and other things into the compound. Well, we responded swiftly. The regional team, the divisional ops team, and my assistant commissioner we were there. And in the process, 10 of these routers were arrested. We brought them to the office. I told my assistant commissioner, let us get an interview with these guys so that we will know the root cause of this righteous behavior. Well, according to them, what gave back to that ugly incident is that last week, about 13 of them stole almost 100 bags of onion from the company. Mm -hmm. They were arrested. They are presently at the maximum prison at Panemba Road. They 
appeared yesterday, they were remanded. So they have been in custody, awaiting investigation and court appearance. Then the others who we are working said, no, their brothers are to be released at all costs. Because they are thieves. Yes, sir. They said it is their right. When they are working at that group of company, they should be stealing products from the company. So because of that, since they were not released and they, are, they were still in police custody, they stormed the company headquarters yesterday, disturbing traffic and other things. So the 10 arrested in my custody are doing well in my custody. And we are going to charge them to court. Apart from this, there is another incident that happened this morning with one Madam Patricia Cole of number 33 Blackwell Road, Freetown. Well, the report against her is that she allegedly had been installed on no substance to four young men, which we suspected to be poison. It's something we call in our local parlance butterscotch. Butterscotch. Yeah, butterscotch. This, according to information, this allegation she has denied and that uh, she told us she's preparing for her wedding any time this week. Sunday. Sunday. Mm. This thing but as course, was said among these four men, namely Usman Ja Yusuf Tue, Alpha Jalo, and Yusuf Bangrua. Why is it we are struggling with them? So it way could not make it. A pastor before they were they were to convey to Connaught Hospital. The other three are presently in critical situation under medical treatment. But the unfortunate part of this investigation is that we've not been able to talk to these three other guys who are presently admitted because their condition is as of now critical. But by according to Madame Patricia. What she told us is that this is news to her. That yes, people we are around their area celebrating other issues, but for her to give what has caused and other things to the guests, he said that is news to her. But she is present there with us, helping us with the investigation. So from the Fritanis region, these are the two issues we are grabbing with. Apart from that, our area is calm and quiet, not in serious. To report of. And also doing inside a press conference, we get the assistant commissioner of police. We also double with the position of the public relation officer for the Sierra Leone police, Wena Brian Kamara, as a give update about the APC convention and also the ranking and decoration ceremony will be take place now the Sierra Leone police um, mess Kintom and other related issues then be discussed inside the press conference.